since me and my mom have been to Walt Disney World. So, this will be the first of many videos to come about Disney. And today, we'll be doing my top 10 best rides at Disney's Magic Kingdom. Now, something to clarify is I did not get on the Jungle Cruise while I was there. Half of the time it was down and the other half it was a really long wait. So just to notify, Jungle Cruise won't be on this list. So coming in at number 10 is It's a Small World. Now I know it's not the best of rides but it's a fun little boat ride. It's a dark ride and it's about the children of the world, and it has a decent message, and it's just a fun, nice little fantasy dark ride. I like it a lot, because I love the song. The song just can't, once you start singing it, you don't stop. You start yep. singing it for a long time. You'll get that in your head for it's the whole time. stuck in your head for sure. Um, okay. Yeah, but coming in at number nine is Many, Many Adventures with Winnie the Pooh. Now, this is one of the... Um, Fantasyland Dark Rides here, and personally, I don't think this has nearly as many Fantasyland Dark Rides as Disneyland does. Disney World do just doesn't have as many Fantasyland Dark Rides as Disneyland, but... True. Like, Disneyland is... Ba Fantasyland is basically just Dark Ride Land, but... Anyways, it's, we waited like a half an hour for it, so it was an okay wait, but it's a fun little ride with some cool scenes, okay. and I like Winnie the Pooh, so it's a fun ride. All right, now, that's number nine. Now, coming in at number eight is Voyage of the Little Mermaid. Now, this is one of those rides that just has those little details that makes that makes it really good, like... The bird animatronic at the beginning in the queue. I don't know what his name is or what kind of bird he is, but I know he's a bird. <laughs> and just simple details like that. And the animatronics on the ride are all good, including Ursula, which is really good. Yep. Disney's okay. famous for the getting the little details right. Yeah. Okay. That was eight. Number seven. This one coming in at number seven is Peter Pan's Flight. Now, I know a lot of people rank it a little higher than 7, but I personally was a little disappointed. Like, I'd wait, like, half an hour for it, but I wouldn't wait an hour for it. Like, yeah. Peter Pan's one of, those, uh, one of the more popular rides, though, that has huge wait times for So, some gotta reason. get your fast passes for yeah, that or one. Or rope drop it, or just don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not worth waiting an hour for it. No. And so, you not gotta good. rope drop it, or book your fast pass if you wanna ride it. Yep. It's fun with some good scenes, but it's not the best ride, but I still like it. Yeah. Okay. That now, was... coming in at number six is Pirates of the Caribbean. I was pleasantly surprised with this one. Yeah. First thing to note, I kind of knew there was a drop in it, but <laughs> I didn't know it. the thing didn't have any restraint with the drop. Like, literally, there's not even a seatbelt on this thing, and it's a legit 15-foot drop. No, that's not big, but you should have at least a seatbelt, like... So, I actually came out of my seat a little bit because of the no restraints. Yeah, and good fun ride. Yeah. Like the characters. It has some good, good music, animatronics. Good, uh, yeah. good scenes. Yep. It's good really ride. fun. Good fun ride. Now, coming in at number five is the Haunted Mansion. Now, something I like that really keeps the line moving is that this is, again, an omni mover like Peter Pan's Flight and Little Mermaid is. And the Omni Movers are basically where they just never stop. Yep. The ride doesn't stop. You just walk and get into the thing. Yeah. It's kind of like Harry Potter at Universal's yep. Islands of Adventure. They don't stop the ride so you can get in. They just keep moving. So it's good for capacity yeah. at least. Personally, my favorite part is actually not even in the real ride. Well, it kind of is, but it's the stretching room where you stand in the room and the portraits move up. Yep. I think that's a really fun part of the ride. And I agree. 
really sets the mood, and the rest of the ride is really fun, too. Like, all of the scenes are great, I personally think. I agree. And we got stuck, like, twice on the ride, so... That's a good I mean, fun ride. It'll happen, though. It sucks. Get, yeah. Get stuck sometimes. Get stuck, yeah. so... What a good, great ride. Yep. Number four, four is actually the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Now, it, it's not a really intense coaster or anything, but it's still a really nice, fun family coaster. And I like that the the cart swing back and forth. Again, those little details, the interactive yeah. queue. Plus, I haven't been on this one yet, but it looks like, again, the queue looks... <laughs> Amazing, yeah. like, and again, more the Disney attention to detail where they just do a great job, and even if you're waiting, you can enjoy the queue at least. That's yeah. another one that you got to get fast pass or get there early. Yeah, it's like a, it was a, in like a two-hour wait yeah. when we went. That'll but regularly be an hour to two-hour wait if you don't have yeah, a fast pass but or get there early. We got we rope dropped that one, so yep. we only had to wait like 20 minutes, but... Also, the animatronics in the middle of the ride, that in, that dark ride scene, that's really good. I think yep. that really makes the ride. Okay, that's number four. On to number three. Is, well, number three and number two are super close for me. But okay. for my they number are. three, I'm going to have to go Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Big Thunder. That's a really good ride. It is. Fun coaster. It's really Again, intense. Great great theming for over Disney. there. I mean, fun to walk through the queue. You know, you get yeah. some good scenery as you're walking. It's really intense for a Disney ride. It is kind of intense for Disney, yeah. Um, but, and also, there's a story where my mom pulled out her phone because we were in the front row and yeah. she almost <laughs> lost it. Yeah. And I'm like... What the heck are you doing, Mom? You're going to lose the thing. Almost dividend. <laughs> yeah. But good, really good ride. Yeah. Good fun coaster there for Disney. Yeah. Nope. Now, barely making number two. Almost edged out by Big Thunder, but coming in number two is Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain. Fun ride. Yeah. Always hot in Florida, so yeah. gives you a little cool down. Yeah. Two drops, actually. Yeah. There's a littler yeah. one and then the iconic big one. Great story to it. Yeah, the gaming. animatronics are good. Yeah. It, the finale's really good, too, with all the animatronics there. And a good fun drop at that one, huh? Yeah, so that's that's one of those rides that just exceeds at expectations. Like, yeah. it... Mm, it, there's a check mark in every box to make it a good ride. Yep. Again, another one. Get there early, fast pass it. Because, again, that has big lights. Too. Yeah, we fast passed it. It only waited like two minutes, maybe. Yep. That leaves us at number one, Which, of course. Pretty obviously, Space Mountain. Space Mountain. Of Great course. indoor coaster. I thought this was going to be like. Yeah, it's a fun ride, and, like, it's kind of close between the other mountains, but no. This thing, like, if it was outdoors, it would possibly not even be in my top five if it was outdoors. But the indoor part just makes it, like, it does. when you can't see where you're going, it feels like you're going at test track speed. Yeah, it definitely feels way faster than it is because it's in the dark like that. Yeah. Great fun ride again. Got that Disney theming, Disney yeah. attention to details. Love it. Yeah, and soon in 2019 or 2020, it's going to be getting a partner next to it, Tron. So yeah, we'll have to see I'm what expecting that, is. that to be no, new number one. Yeah, but, I'm expecting big things out of that too. But. Yeah, but Space Mountain, really good ride, and something I kind of think is interesting is there's no like, you have to ride single rider. Like, it's one person yeah, per behind, row. Yeah, behind it, yeah. It's kind of weird, but it I kind of like it. It is. It is. What? Great ride. Good park. You had a lot of fun. Yeah. There. Okay. Right. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And Greta's chasing her tail, but I'm sure she would like to say goodbye. Goodbye.